Hi y'all, this is Janine and I wanted to show you how to get this beautiful uh, peacock themed manicure. To start off with, I just painted my nails in Sally Hansen's Extreme Wear and the color is Blackout. And the next color I'm going to work with is an elf color and it is called Punk Purple, but it really is more of a, a pretty muted mauve color and I just cut a makeup sponge into some small pieces because I'm going to use those to do uh, my stippling on and this is going to create the background uh, for our stamping so in the usual manner I'm just going to take the color and paint it onto the sponge and this is a really easy manicure because you don't have to be precise with this this is just creating a little added dimension of color and you can't really see it on the uh, nail now but when you put the top coat on the colors that you stip that you stipple in uh, really uh, pop after that so I'm just going to go through and do all of my nails in this manner with the pink and then I'll be back okay the next color I'm going to work with is this beautiful emeraldy green by sinful colors and it's called San Francisco and we're gonna do the same thing and just take a makeup sponge and this time I'm just gonna try and get it a little bit like on the corner because I don't want to cover the entire nail with it I just want to kind of dab it in spots because I don't want to completely cover up the pink and I'm just going to continue to do that on all of my nails. Just kind of dab it around a little bit. And like I said, it's really hard to see these colors against the black uh, right now. But once the top coat's applied, they're really going to show through. Anyway, I'm going to continue doing that on all of my nails, and then I'll be back with the next step. Okay, the next step uh, before we get into the stamping is we're going to stipple a little more color on, and this is just a beautiful teal blue, and it's called Caribbean Frost, and it's by Wet n Wild. And in the same method, I'm just going to put a little bit on the corner of my makeup sponge, and I'm just going to lightly, again, just kind of dab it around on my nail here and there and I'm going to continue with the rest of my nails and come back with the stamping okay now for the stamping you can see I've got all of my nails uh, stippled and like I said it's I know you can't really see it now but once the top coat's on, you're just going to see this nice muted blend of colors. They're going to look a little bit marbled, and they're just going to create a nice background uh, for our stamping. And I'm using Bundle Monster Plate 15, and this is from their first series. And I'm going to use this uh, Peacock is going to be the first uh, stamp I'm working with. And I'm going to put it on my index finger on both hands. And those are going to be my accent nails. And I'm working with, uh, I'm stamping with Revlon Top Speed Nail Polish in the color Golden. And I just thought this would look really beautiful uh, against those uh, stamped colors or those stippled colors. Because I'm going to an event this weekend and, and that's what I created this design for. Was to match my outfit which has a lot of these colors in it as well as some gold. So I thought it would be nice to have some nail art that really accented that and I don't know if you can see it but it picked up the top part of the peacock really well but it didn't pick up the tail very well so when this happens I generally just take some nail polish remover and just clean the plate and the stamper and everything and give it another go Sometimes certain polishes you work with are not going to work as well with your stamps, particularly ones that have these finer designs, little tiny bitty spaces. 
So I'm going to give it another try and see how this polish works. And I'm also going to shake the polish up a bit and see if that helps maybe get all the pigment incorporated a little bit better. But this is how stamping goes. Sometimes you just have to experiment a little bit until you find what works. Alright, now let's give that another try and see how this works. And sometimes if you don't scrape as hard, if you just use a really light scrape, sometimes that helps. And it picked it up much better that time. So I'm just going to find my placement on my nail. And now we've got that beautiful peacock on there. And you see the tail still didn't come out quite as clean as I would have liked. But I still think you can tell what it is and it's going to look quite nice once the top coat's applied. Now I'm using the same stamp and on there is just this pretty little feather design. So I'm just going to turn my plate around here on my holder. And using the same gold. I'm going to use the smaller end of my stamper and I'm just going to randomly place feathers on my nails and I'm probably going to try and get two to two and a half feathers depending on the size of the nail I'm stamping on. And you see I'm just really randomly so, placing them. I just go over it in my favorite top coat, which is Sally Hansen. Dries instantly. And that's the finished product. And after I get done top coating and cleaning up, I'll come back with pictures and show you more of the uh, finished product. Thanks so much for watching.